Welcome to tutorial 11 of Introduction to Statistics. In this tutorial, we will study two nominal type um, variable, for example, gender and satisfaction of some product. Are uh, male and female reacting differently to different products? Of course they do. First of all, I have my data recorded in A1 to B642. 641 individuals are selected. Insert, click on insert and then pivotal table. The first uh, information that you have to record is where is the data including the name of the variable and my data is from A1 to B642. Second important part is to tell Excel where do we want our uh, contingency table to be recorded. Click on the cell, click OK. My first vertical column uh, label is gender and my horizontal label is satisfaction. It's already here and I will count the gender or cal calculate, uh, Excel will count the gender. And here is the table. It's a little hard to see at the beginning but I will reformat everything so that you can clearly see what is in this table. So this is a very good organization of uh, frequencies and these frequencies are cross-functional. Uh, cross uh, female who answered no, male who answered no, the total number of no answers, un undecided female, male, and yes, female, and male. And this is called contingency table, or also it is our observable data. With the pivotal table, our two uh, categorical variables are well organized, the frequencies of the two categorical variables. I copy this table and I clean the frequencies in the six cells so that I can calculate what will happen mathematically in this case. I have to calculate the proportion of male and female. Female 264 divided by the total number of individuals, 41% are female, male 377 divided by 641. This is the proportion of male and female. If we have these answers independently of gender, then for each one of these answers, I will have proportional number male, a uh, female, I'm sorry, and then the same number would be distributed proportionally between the male. So let's go back and put a dollar sign to the proportion so that I can copy and paste this formula. Actually, it's much easier. So once again, 217 times the proportion of male and I need a dollar sign here so that I can copy these two formulas. These are the expected value values, quite different from observed value. 151 is different from 89 in the second table and 66 is quite different from 127. The question in this test is, are those differences in the frequencies statistically significant?